Um, whoops. Um, hmm. While trying to improve the village by building some things, well, not building, by, but rebuilding, I probably touched the wrong sand. Because it seems that lots of it actually fell down. a decent amount, yeah. Okay, and I wonder why this is... well, why this place is having such a strange shape. I haven't heard any sound, so it probably isn't a spawner or anything. Uh, but let's make ourselves a shovel and find out. Yeah, probably isn't a spawner because spawners, I think, are not having a, a six times six uh, size, but five or seven, I think. I mean, in the block count. But still weird to have such a diff strange, like, hole in the ground. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything, so let's just build some easy stairs and let them villagers decide what is that they will build here later on. Could be some cool underground storage room, so I'll let them decide on this. But for now... blocks. Of a sandstone, because I really want to block this water out and fill it with the, sa with the ah. sand. <laughs> it's not only the game is um, lagging, but my voice as well. Maybe I'm a robot. Ah, oh, but this cave is... Come on. Why it was supposed to happen like that? I touched literally one block. Like one. But that's okay. Should probably expect that. So you're now trying to steal my bread, aren't you? I planted these crops, not you. Leave them alone. And those rabbit steps are just so scary. They sound like a full-sized animal or like a player or something. Okay, some more. So as you can see, I'm trying to get myself busy uh, while waiting for those those saplings, crops, things to grow. And yeah, I think one of the things we could do is actually uh, plant some shrooms because we have enough. So the rest could be left in the forest to grow. Yeah, should only find some dark places. Like that. And yeah, how many do we have? Like 32, okay. Sorry chicken, I'm not gonna feed you this time. Okay, I will. And yeah, 
uh, with the 30 we'll get only 10 pieces of bread so it's not much still and therefore probably I will spend some more time in here as you could probably notice I also spent on the bones so I crafted on um, the bone meal out of them and also used on the saplings so that's why I got some wheat rather fast but there is still a lot of it necessarily if we are planning to travel well not that we are planning to travel for a long time but as we can see the ocean covers that part so <laughs> we'll probably have to so yeah as long as I'll have enough resources we will continue but for now I will pose the record I know I say that I won't go for, for fishing because I have no space and stuff like that but uh, it started to rain uh, it of course means that uh, the fishing would be much more successful and also faster so I freed up my inventory a little bit by crafting a furnace placing it on the ground near the anvil and the uh, crafting table also put my boat on the water as you can see right here in this part and uh, while the crops are growing I will do some fishing and we'll see if we'll get lucky uh, with something else besides the food and of course in the end we'll decide what to leave and what to uh, take with us well maybe what to burn as well as a trash and then we'll be ready to go but for now I'll spend some uh, of my time on fishing because of course we will need lots of food to travel the ocean once again. So I'll see you back soon guys. So the night has ended, the new day has started but rate, rain didn't stop so I've been fishing through all the day and as you can see we're facing another, another beautiful dawn. Um, yeah and here's what we've got. So we got some plenty of fish to be cooked well, of course, we got some puffers as well, some leather, which is cool, <laughs> leather boots as well, uh, the bone we can actually use on some crops, and the enchanted book, fire protection, fire aspect. Fire aspect. Well, not sure, but I think fire aspect uh, like was meant to be used as a weapon. I mean on swords, because I think it was giving the um, some chance to light your opponents on fire or something like that. But I think we actually do not need that. Instead, oh, leave me alone. Uh, instead, I think we will use it for fire protection. Oh no, please don't lag. The last thing for now I need is lag. Okay, the rabbits. So yeah, let's apply some. And I saw there was a skeleton and a zombie. Yeah, that's why I was Oh, you're a smart boy, aren't you? One shot. <laughs> Straight to oblivion. You guys are safe. Not gonna lose that experience. So yeah, I think we will apply this uh, enchantment on any piece of our like armor probably the chest plate and uh, I hope it doesn't matter if you are applying it on uh, boots or like anything else okay so you have left us a bow probably the regular one right 
that's something we don't need. And we don't need those leather boots. Nothing much to be done with them. And what else? We don't need the puffer fish. Well, I would be happy if we would be actually able to release the fish to the sea. Because, I mean, when you ca caught the fish, you're not having it dead. But unfortunately, the only way here is to either use it for crafts, either throw it away. So, you know what we are going to do with that. Burn! Yeah, it's really creepy when the mobs actually are like spawning but lagging. And if previously, what I have noticed, they were usually, if they are lagging, they are like lagging for real. Just standing on the same place and uh, not moving at all or just barely moving. But now I have noticed, for example, the same creeper or the villagers, they might stay, like still, start slowly looking at your direction and then just speed run towards you. That's just insane. Spices up the game a little bit. And also while fishing and like running around, I had a small accident. Um, I decided to play some more sand and then do them staircases again. And uh, I didn't knew that by that time, but one of the villagers actually went down somewhere there. And while this sound was still floating, of course it all fell down on him and I was not having enough time to dig it all out, so he has suffocated. I'm really sorry for that. I, mean, I really am. But for now, let's stock up on food. And I think with the next episode, we will be totally ready to leave this place. Just a few small things left to be done here. Would be so cool to find a base, uh, not griefed, or maybe like not griefed in full, and finally get a shulker box. Because that would be so cool to have some items put away in the inventory. Because yeah, for now we are just fully overloaded with things. And for example, the gunpowder. I mean, I don't need that, and I, I'm pretty sure I won't need that like for a long time ahead. But again, suddenly when you will need some TNT, then of course it will be too late to start acquiring it. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to keep those things with me. And let's see what about... What about the book? Okay, so let's drop the sword. Uh, fire protection, but if I'm applying it to the... Yeah, fire aspect. It will probably give us the chance to light things on fire and maybe cook uh, the animals we are trying to kill pretty convenient at some point, but I'm not sure. Especially if those mobs will be also able to light us on fire if they touch us. So yeah, probably let's just do it in this way. And if I'm doing it wrong because I was supposed to add it like on my boots or on anything else, of course feel free to uh, type it down in the comments. So next time I will have this I will do it in a proper way. Who knows? <laughs> I do not know, for sure. So yeah, let's put this fish uh, to start cooking. And meanwhile continue harvesting those crops. At, a, at one point of a time I was actually a bit scared about this um, whole farm. Because, uh, I mean, it's on the chunk error, right? So it could be the oldest, older version of Minecraft or maybe the newer, who knows. Um, and I was started to harvest the, the wheat uh, saplings and the thing is that I was actually getting the wheat, yeah, but not getting the seeds. And I went like down to, I, I know, 
seven or eight in a row when I was just not getting any seeds to replant and I was totally scared that eventually I will just uh, have a full stacks of wheat but uh, absolutely no seeds to replant but luckily they started to reappear again so I don't know if it was a glitch lag or like just low luck of me as a gardener <laughs> knows and yeah as you can see I decided to proceed with all types of uh, veggies so I'm also taking the carrots and uh, potatoes I'm not sure but I think potatoes were supposed to be cooked before you eat them so we will try hopefully they will regenerate more health than rather than the raw ones and yeah soon we will be able to go so let's double check the fish halfway through and let's see what's up in our inventory so we are still having some stew to be prepared up once we will need that uh, we also have some cocoa beans so we can actually may try to do some cookies but I mean probably not for now I mean we don't need that that much uh, what else do we have? We have some leather, that's fine. Well, some torches. Wheat, we have 29. We need one more to craft the exact amount of bread. And I think at that moment I will start, stop uh, harvesting it. Because we have planted as only much as we could. And it's okay for us to stop exactly at this specific moment and let's see if those villagers will take those seeds however I think we do not have a villager because that only one dude that died was actually a villager I think so yeah let's go the classical way of purification your seeds have been cooked up here I think it means they are ready yep yeah so 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 I think yeah I think it pretty much does it I think there's oh hey bunny you love some carrots, aren't you? Want some more? Oh, you're quite a polite bunny. You're not taking more than one. Oh, so cute. But sorry. I won't feed you any longer because... Because... Because it's us who are supposed to travel the ocean like for the whole life. Not you, bunny. Not you. So, part of the fish is done. Let's put the second half of it, then the potatoes, and then we will be ready to go. As you can see, I also crafted a bed from those uh, wool blocks we accidentally crafted uh, from the strings but that's okay we will eventually need to place that bad so it's only for our good let's see what trades do they offer uh -uh. nothing oh, lots of villagers in here so yeah some, some protection book still some punch uh, speaking of a protection book, uh, so I need to have a book and 17 emeralds. Yeah. Sounds like a real waste of money. Well, emeralds. You 
I need to do like seven to ten different trades to get those emeralds and then you get just one small book of enhancing like that's a great deal so fish almost done and yeah I think this pretty much does it during the next few minutes I will continue and I uh, will finish preparing my food uh, for the big travel and I think also will start slowly <laughs> drifting my boat away from the coast and uh, in the next episode probably I'll see you in the middle of the ocean maybe not I would really love to, to, to find some land uh, we can start exploring but who knows in any case guys thanks again for watching and if you like what you are seeing or you would like to see more or see different feel free to comment I would appreciate any of your comments and suggestions and of course if you would like to continue seeing me doing this stuff then of course like and subscribe you know the thing you know it and thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next episode bye bye everyone